When you are ready to take your photographs to the next level, go to the Color tab of PhotoPad. The most commonly used color tools are on the left, Brightness, Contrast, and Exposure. Most images will only need a slight adjustment, so start small. Each layer has a reset button, so you can easily start over or use the X in the corner to remove it completely. Use color curves to adjust brightness or contrast of the image or to manipulate each color channel. Dragging up on the curve will brighten the image and dragging down will darken the image. Creating an S curve will add contrast. Let's look at the individual color curves. Dragging up on the red curve adds red and down adds cyan. Dragging up on the blue curve adds blue and down adds yellow. Dragging up on the green curve adds green and down adds magenta. The Auto Levels button will automatically balance brightness and contrast. You are not able to make any manual adjustments with this feature. It's a quick, automated solution. The Levels button is next. With Levels, you can adjust the intensity of an entire image or adjust each color channel. In the next section of the toolbar, the first button you see is the Saturation button. Click on it and use the slider bar to increase or decrease the intensity of the colors in the picture. The gradient map is a fun color tool. You can use it to warm or cool an image. Add a pastel or neon effect or create a color spectrum. Play with adding and deleting markers setting the marker color, switching between mixed colors and overlay colors, and the less more slider to see what color effects you can achieve. The hue rotation button rotates the color spectrum of your image. If you look at the before and after bars, the color on the after bar that aligns with the color on the before bar will replace the existing color. Play around with this effect to create your own pop art. Add a tint layer to your picture to tone the entire picture one color. Use the hue bar to select a color. The lightness and saturation bars will help you perfect the effect. Add a temperature layer to warm up or cool down a picture. I especially like using this effect to make skin tones more pleasing. The last section of the toolbar has preset color effects. Use the negative button to invert colors. The sepia button to get the old fashioned wild west look. Grayscale for the artsy black and white picture. And vintage to take it back to the 70s. With vintage you have a few sliders to play around with to give it your personal touch. For more PhotoPad tutorials, visit address shown on your screen.